costly war in Vietnam divided a nation, claimed more than 58,000 lives, and ended with the withdrawal of U.S. forces in 1973. American service members coming home did not receive a hero's welcome, many suffering both mental and physical wounds. But 40 years after the end of the war, Vietnam veterans are finally receiving the recognition they earned so long ago. Today, in Covington, a special ceremony honored veterans of the Vietnam War. And as North Shore reporter Heath Allen tells us, today's thank you goes a long way. I spent 30 years and 29 days in the Corps, so uh, it's good to hear somebody appreciate what you did. Who knows how long it's been since this many North Shore Vietnam vets actually gathered in one place. But this day, they did. This day, the Brotherhood took a journey back in time to a place far away with names few outside this room could remember, much less pronounce. The Vietnam War ended 40 years ago, but for these men and women, the memories, the painful ones, never fade. When we first came back, you you were like dirt. They, nobody wanted to even recognize the fact that you went to Vietnam. Going through the things that we had to go through, we came home and we got to live it every day. Forty years later, a day not just to remember, but to honor. Shot down over Hanoi in 1966, retired Colonel Murphy Neal Jones spent nearly seven years as a prisoner of war. Highly decorated and respected, he shares the bond. They would have done what they could to save my life. I would have done what I could to save their life. It's amazing what a thank you can do. Oh, it is. Never to be forgotten, those missing in action. The silent table, a tribute to prisoners of war and those missing, so long gone but ever present. Many of those here were wounded in Vietnam, 150,000 all told, and 58,000 died on the battlefield. So St. Tammany took time this morning to simply say thanks, and the hometown heroes got to hear it for themselves. It's good to hear somebody say thank you. Absolutely. Some young guy comes up and says, appreciate your service. That means a lot. Even if that appreciation is a long time coming. Or veterans who fought America's most unpopular war. I would go back to battle with anybody in this room because I know they got my back. Simple as that. Simple as that. And with that, we add our own thanks. On your side in Covington, Heath Allen, WDSU News. The ceremony today at the Robert H. Burns American Legion Post 16 was the combined effort of the St. Tammany Veterans and Military Affairs Advisory Council, the American Legion, the Veterans of Foreign Wars, Vietnam Veterans of America, and numerous other veterans organizations.